We played some uh, the Back for Blood beta. Oh yeah, how did that go on Thursday? I mean, it's Left for Dead through and through for sure. Yep. Yeah, uh, the guns feel terrible to use. All of them. They sound Although terrible. there is a plethora of guns yep. and upgrades that you can get now for your guns. So you can get stocks and and magazines mm-hmm. and sights for everything. You can put a sniper sight sight on your. Uh, SMG, if you wanted, <laughs> that's how it works. Wow. You can just do it. Okay. it. It feels like the they were playing a lot of Tarkov. <laughs> Ew! In between, gross. So there's a lot. I feel like there's a lot of Tarkov influence in there, but with, just with the guns, though, everything else kind of feels. It just feels like it's done as Left for Dead. Even all the movement, everything feels Left for Dead. Yeah, it looked like Left for Dead. They only had the. Uh, the uh, first campaign out. Mm-hmm. So whereas Left 4 Dead, your campaign is split into five parts. Yeah. These campaigns are split into like 10 to 12 parts. Oh, yeah. So there's a lot less time in between your stops, your uh, uh, safe rooms. And the way it's built out is that you craft a deck of cards together and you can pick card. You draw five cards and then you pick one of the cards out of there. And those cards contain upgrades okay. for your characters. So you can kind of like build your character up. As you play the campaign. Okay. Which is kind of neat. Yeah. Because there's cars is like, oh, you get plus 30% stamina, plus 30% running speed, and then like plus 5% damage. Okay. But uh, those are like some of the rarer cards. And then mm-hmm. you just keep going through building your character up to get better and better. So it's kind of got more of a progression mm-hmm. than Left 4 Dead did. Yep. So there's not a lot of... Left 4 Dead is just like, you just go. Go. Get a gun whatever, and shoot. Whatever you do, do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we played it through on easy first. Yeah, I remember watching and I was like, this seems like really, really easy. Yeah. None of the, like the classic monsters that they had in the first one, the only one that I saw. You, that, mean, you mean Left 4 Dead. Yeah, in Left 4 Dead. Yeah. The classic monsters just weren't there except for the boomer. It's like well, the I smoker mean, the wasn't there. Can they just straight up steal the monsters? I don't know. Well, I'm not, I don't Bad know either. Work. I think they, they could probably craft something similar, but. It doesn't emit smoke. It emits lightning bolts. You know? <laughs> yeah. The lightninger. Yeah. The shocker. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. We played through on easy first just to get more cards because <laughs> then we went and did it on nightmare after that. And it was like, no. Yeah. Yeah. You went straight it. from easy to nightmare. It's straight from easy to nightmare. Like, oh let's just do it. Yeah. We got some cards. Let's just do it. And you got wrecked. Then we got wrecked. Yeah. yeah no kidding. So we were, I was playing with Kirillam and Kirillam was the party leader. And of course he lives on the East coast. So yeah. my ping was like somewhere around 200 and it was stable for the most part, except there were some parts where the zombies would desync like super hard. Yeah. So I'd be like shooting a zombie and then all of a sudden it'd be over here. Like, oh, teleporting. Yeah. So it's peer to peer, not server based. Yes. Oh, it looks my like God. it. That's weird. Yeah. Hmm, whatever. I guess that means it can run forever. Really, but yeah, usually these games are server based now. Yeah, so, and oh yeah, you got a bunch of characters you can choose from now, and each character has a different uh, starting stats and stuff like that. Okay, and, and what you do get the stats effect. Uh, one of the, the guy I was playing, he had uh plus twenty percent reload speed and oh. then one extra revive. Oh, okay, interesting. What um, what's your verdict? Are you gonna buy the f- real meal deal or what? I don't know. I think. That's a no. They're planning on having another beta. Oh, yeah. That's the other thing, too, is I saw a lot of complaining about it, and I'm like, it's a beta. <laughs> yeah. They're planning on having another beta. And in that other beta, I'll try and play it and see if that's going to change my mind. But as it is, the gameplay loop is still just Left for Dead, so you already know what's coming. Well, I mean, I mean, if you expected anything different, I don't know what to say. Yeah, I know. I don't know. If it's a game for me anymore, like Mm -hmm. I played the hell out of Left 4 Dead 1 and Left 4 Dead 2, and I enjoyed every second of it, especially when the PvP, Mm -hmm. with with the PvP aspect, where you could like take control of of the big special zombies and go in and wreck your friends. Yeah, yeah. That was always a good time. But uh, yeah, the game, the standard gameplay loop, I'm just, it's just not my style anymore. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Nowadays... For a game like that, I need it to be, like, progression-based. Like, I'm unlocking something or, you know, my playthrough is getting me something. Not just, like, once I beat it, it's done, you know? 
Yeah, well, it, there kind of is a progression because you can go and you can unlock cards and you can craft your deck a little bit better. But do you get to keep that when you start your next campaign? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you can, when you start your next campaign, you have that this deck that you've crafted and then you can, uh, yeah. yeah, the next That's campaign, bad, you can then. play it on more difficulty or, or whatever. But apparently, I've been told by, by Kirlin, who I was playing with, he went in and did some of the PvP and he said that if you lose a teammate, that spot does not get filled oh. at all. Again, it's a beta, so... Yeah. But, again, they're not using a server, so... They yeah. must be using a server for that. There's got to be matchmaking. There's got to be something there. Yeah, there's there's Maybe once the game's there. going, it's peer-to-peer or something. Um, Yeah, it looked like Left 4 Dead. Yeah. But I only watched when you were playing easy, so it looked, like, really <laughs> terrible to me, because it was just, like... Super easy. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing was happening. You're just blowing down the zombies and everything. So. Yeah, it uh, it played well. The graphics are great. Yeah, same kind of same kind of interaction with the characters as Left 4 Dead. Everyone's got everyone's beautifully voice lined. Mm-hmm. Lots of cool stuff in the environment. But <laughs> there's some parts where the zo- there's zombies like way off in the distance, yeah. and you know you can hit them, so you start shooting at them, and nothing happens. There's like, no, I'm immune. Like you can't hit me. Yeah, I'm just too far. I'm too the far range. away. You're not even supposed to hit me. Oh yeah, lovely. <laughs> oh, well, they'll they'll square that all the way before it comes out. Yeah. What was the other game? I don't even know if we're gonna remember the name of it. Remember there was another fight, some sort of zombie game at the E three thing where they had all the skills and there was that elevator. She brought out the elevator and people got in the little force elevator and went up it. There was just a. Oh. Uh, anyways, that looked more interesting than Black for Blood for me, but I don't remember what it was called. It was probably like an Overwatch type, maybe. I can't remember. Hmm. I know there was there was one zombie shooter that was supposed to come out that never came out that they just scrapped and there's there's World War Z. No, which this is one apparently I can't uh, what it was called. A really good zombie shooter because it's just the zombies are everywhere yeah. and it's just massive piles of them. This one I just remember the trailer was them like they were in a store and then it was like here's what happened 10 minutes earlier and it showed them like we're going to break into the store no problem. And they were like a crew of people. Uh, anyways, we watched it, but I don't remember what it was called. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I remember what it what it was. That I or of, I I can picture it in my head, but I don't know yeah, what it was called. That either. one looked more interesting to me than this. Yeah, that one looked uh looked pretty cool. So, anyways, it was like with, and it wasn't zombies. It was like no, they're vampires, vampires or something. Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or ghouls. I don't vampires know. or ghouls. Yeah, yeah. 